there, I'm Katie Allender, author of Bad Girls Don't Die, and welcome to Author Mix, which is a web series that allows readers to be sort of a fly on the wall as um, some of their favorite YA authors get together and talk about uh, books and life and all sorts of exciting things. So let me introduce the people who've joined me today. Um, Margaret Stoll and Cami Garcia, who are the authors of Beautiful Creatures. Melissa De La Cruz, the author of the Blue Blood series. And Cecil Castellucci, the author of Beige. Everybody has read Elmore Leonard's 10 writing tips, which is all over the internet right now, and it tells you like exactly what to do and what not to do. So we're going to come up with our own 10 writing tips. They're up for debate, and we're going to do it speed round style. So Margie? Stolen from my best friend, pseudonymous Bosch, there's no such thing as a bad book, only a bad draft. Bad draft. Do you agree or disagree? <laughs> I, agree. I agree. I agree. I agree. I've seen a lot of bad drafts in my day. <laughs> <laughs> I've created a lot of bad drafts in my day. Yeah, perhaps they're both. <laughs> I'm going to steal from Clive Barker, who I know, love, and am secretly in love with also, and he says you should read everything that you write out loud to yourself. That is painful. But, yeah, it, it, but works. it works. It totally yeah. works. And you guys totally said that with Beautiful Creatures? Yes. yes. And think how long that was. <laughs> that been a 40 <laughs> She spent a lot of time outrage. reading to each <laughs> other. Days of your life you'll never get back. It's way too embarrassing to do in front of another person. Not even with each no, other? You, no, 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 no. We do it separately. I'll say go read that out loud, and you'll see how cheesy it is, and then she'll call me back and be like, okay, fine. It's like standing naked in front of a mirror. You can do that with another person. <laughs> <laughs> I get a lot of questions about how to get through the writing block, and I just say take breaks, you know, because you get to that wall, take a break, take a walk, you know, I like to dance around. You take, like, I think a physical break, like you go into treadmill for half an hour, and then you go back, and, oh. you know, for me, it, like, it kind of helps, <laughs> you know? The treadmill. Go, go from doing something painful to something painful. That's a great life. I don't know, some kind of like physical no, action. Yeah. You know? Can we substitute like trips to the refrigerator? The I was about to say, how about a meal? Yeah. Uh, I'm going to say, write the part that you like. Mm, yeah. That's a good oh. one. I totally do I like that. that. So, in other words, like, don't get stuck. Don't get stuck. I mean, like, you know, it's like if you're like, if you're like, the next part is this part, then I'm like, ugh, I don't know what it is. Then, like, I do, okay. right? Something fantastic here, and then go to the part that you know or totally. the part that you like, you know? Because if you if you're turned on by what you're writing, then you're going to be excited about it, and then all the others, then you're going to like, it, it, it'll all come together. It'll all flow. Fill in that other know? stuff yeah. later. Yeah. Okay, so same old best friend says, if you don't want to write it, I don't want to read it. But I don't know if that's true because sometimes mm. things are just hard to write. I don't think it means they're bad. Well, I think it depends because, like, sometimes there are some people whose their writing code is they really like description. Mm -hmm. Oh, you know, the grass was green and the, yeah. the, the stalk bent this way just slightly at a 45 degree angle <laughs> to the left and <laughs> the flip, sun. Flip, flip. Right, exactly. I just went into a what coma. I just went into a coma, <laughs> you know. But, like, you know, other people, it's like, you know, I want to know the grass is green and then, you know, then you move on. But what I think is interesting sometimes is that you have to make sure that you flesh out both parts. My code is that I just want to get to the characters and the dialogue and go bang, 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 but, and I don't care about the description. And, you know, but then some of my friends who are readers, they'll be like, but what do they look like? But wh where are they? Like, I don't even understand. So yeah. if they don't want to read it, maybe it's because it's not in their code, right. but then maybe you need to pay attention because maybe you need to pay a little attention to that part that you don't like to write. Exactly. Well, I just want to say that, like, sometimes the scenes I have the hardest time writing that I feel like I'm like, oh, this word. You go back, and those are the scenes that flow the best, mm -hmm. which doesn't make any sense at all, but mm -hmm. that's just the way it is. I'm going to say uh, that you have to write from the point of view that every character is his or her own hero, which is like, oh, that's because true. I write mm -hmm. from, like, the point of, like, it's a horror novel, so there's this evil force in it. But even an evil force doesn't get up in the morning and think, I'm evil, I'm going to go do some evil today. Everybody's always out to fulfill their own agenda, and I think you can round out your evil characters or your even, like, rude characters, as it may be in, like, YA or whatever, um, you know, by figuring out what is motivating this person, what's actually That's motivating awesome them, as opposed to, like, like, and then she comes in and she's mean because she's mean. I, because I had a teacher in ninth grade, and, and I had written a story... And she said, what's wrong with this character? And I was like, she's crazy. And she was like, no, you can't just say she's crazy. <laughs> like, so anyway, so that's my piece. It's good advice. Thanks for joining us. Go to authormix.com to learn more about us and our books and sign up for cool giveaways. Plus watch more episodes of Authormix. Find our books in bookstores and libraries and keep an eye out for our upcoming releases. Cecil's YA novel, Rose Sees Red, and picture book, Grandma's Gloves, are available now. Kemi and Margie's Beautiful Darkness, the sequel to Beautiful Creatures, hits stores October 12th. 
Melissa's Misguided Angel, the fifth Blue Bloods book, is due out October 26th. And From Bad to Curse, the sequel to Bad Girls Don't Die, hits stores next spring. 